Hey, thanks for tuning in. Today, we're gonna to take the Creality Ender 3 and we're gonna update the firmware to Marlin version 1.1.8. To update the firmware on the Ender 3, you're first gonna to need to flash the bootloader and then you'll flash the firmware. To flash a new bootloader on here, you have to use an Arduino Uno. There are other ways to do it, but you could use an Uno in any form factor. You're going to need some cables to connect the ICSP headers on the Uno to the ICSP headers on the board inside the printer. And you'll need a USB cable to connect the Uno to your laptop or PC. And you'll need a two millimeter hex wrench to take the cover off the printer to access the motherboard. So the first thing we're gonna do is get this cover off. There are two screws on the front of the cover and there's one screw at the back in the middle that's kind of hidden underneath the bed. After you've taken the two front screws off, we'll slide the bed forward and we'll be able to access the back screw. We'll have a picture up here of what this back screw looks like. Okay, so I have the three screws out. Slide the bed back to the rear slowly. You don't wanna move any of it quickly by hand. Slide the cover off and just flip it over on its side. So up here, you will see the board itself and at the front of the board, kind of hidden by this ribbon cable right here, are six ICSP header pins. And those six pins connect to the six pins labeled ICSP on your Arduino Uno. You will need an additional DuPont cable to connect to pin 10 on the Uno, which will reset uh, after flashing. So on the Arduino Uno here, our ICSP headers are these six, and there will always be a star or a one in the corner. So starting at pin one, these are numbered, we'll number these one, two, three, four, five, six. And in a moment, we'll flip over to the board and we'll point out the exact same pins with the same numbering scheme. However, on the Arduino Uno, we are not going to use pin three. Pin three is going to be hooked up to pin 10 to reset. So I've actually jimmy rigged a cable here where I've taped the five pins in the orientation they need to go here with one missing where pin three would be. And I have an additional one off pin that will go into pin 10. So here we are looking in the control box of the printer. This is a ribbon cable that leads to the screen. And right beside it, we see the six pins for ICSP. And these pins are going to be numbered one, two, three, four, five, six. So the one pin is this furthest pin over here. And so we are gonna connect them to the same pins numbered one through six on the Arduino board with pin three, which in this case, pin three would be this bottom one here. That is the pin that is gonna to go to pin 10 on the Arduino. In my case, since I've made a prefab cable, I can just connect them in one fell swoop, and now I've got them all connected. So with the Arduino Uno board and its USB port kind of facing the printer's USB port, so if they're oriented like this, the pins for the ICSP are in line with each other, meaning that kind of counterclockwise, one, two, three, and then four, five, six, and then inside the box, they would be also one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can check that things are connected correctly. And remember that pin three inside the board is the one that goes to pin 10 on the Arduino Uno. And for the next step, we're gonna connect the Uno to our laptop and we should see the power LED on the board of the Creality light up. So if we have everything connected correctly, when I connect the Arduino to my laptop, we will see the LED on the Arduino go on. And then we'll also see a blue LED on the Creality board right beside the ICSP pins. To make our lives easier, we've downloaded the unified firmware, as they call it, from TH3D Studio. This comes with a pre-configured version of the Arduino IDE, as well as his you know, universal firmware that works across many Creality, as well as other brand printers. 
But first, we need to make sure that our Arduino Uno is set up as an in-series programmer. And to do that, we need to open a default sketch that comes with the Arduino IDE. Under File, Examples, and then Arduino ISP. So this is the sketch that we are going to flash the Arduino Uno with. We need to make sure that under Tools, we have the correct type of board selected, in our case, an Arduino Uno. Port, in my case, COM7. And you want to make sure Programmer is AVR ISP MK2. And we are just going to hit Upload. This will compile this sketch and flash the Arduino Uno. While that's going, I'll just minimize that window and go back to the unified firmware. As it says in the main file that opens up, all of your changes are done in configuration.h unless you want to do some more advanced configuration and take note of this warning. You want to make sure that you reset your EEPROM, which you can do on the printer's screen uh, after you flash your firmware. So there are some pre-configured printers, as I mentioned. Uh, in this case, we have a Ender 3. So let's go look for So here's the Ender 3. So we are going to uncomment define Ender 3. You only ever want to have one printer defined. And then we're not using any easy ABL or any of their other options. If we scroll down near the bottom after the printer models, there are a couple advanced settings for ABL, which we're not going to use. And I may want to enable baby stepping. So to boot a little faster, I'm just gonna disable the boot screen and we can give our printer a name. This is the name that will appear at the bottom of the LCD screen. I'm gonna call mine originally Ender 3. And I don't think we're going to use any of these other options. I'm just going to search for baby step. Uh, no, we don't want that on. Okay. So that was it. I uncommented the printer type, in this case Ender 3, and I've uncommented the disabled boot screen, and then I've given my printer a name and uncommented that. I uh, didn't really point out what uncommenting was, but these two slashes at the beginning of every line, that's a comment, so if you just backspace those, this line would become active. Let's flip back over and make sure that the Arduino ISP flashed successfully. Done uploading, no errors, so that's good. So now that's ready to be used. And back at the Unified Firmware, we've made all the configuration changes we need to make. We will go to Tools, the Board, the board that we are flashing in this case is not the UNO. We're flashing, we're using the UNO in series to flash the board on the Ender 3, which is a Sanguino, or Sanguino, uh, it's a 1284P board. So select that. It should be 16 megahertz in processor, which it is. The COM port, which is COM7. And the programmer should be Arduino as ISP. So with those selected, we need to burn the bootloader. This will burn the bootloader onto the Ender 3 board using the UNO to do so, done burning bootloader. And so it's worth noting uh, that at this point, we are done using the UNO. We were just using the UNO in series to flash the bootloader on the printer. So disconnect those wires from the printer control board and hook your laptop directly into the printer as you normally would. The screen on your printer will just be blue. There'll be no writing on it. That's expected. 
Some people panic when they see that. So let's double check. We have the board set to Sanguino, 60 megahertz, COM7, AVRI, SPMK2. And so we're ready to upload. This will now compile the firmware and upload it to your printer. Okay, so it's successfully uploaded to the board. And at this point, we can disconnect our computer from the printer and we'll show you how to reassemble and to initialize the firmware. So I've disconnected the USB cable and got rid of my laptop and we're ready to start reassembling in the reverse order that we took it all apart. So flip this back around, two screws on the front, one screw on the back in the center. The longer screw is for the center back one. And then we'll need to spend a couple moments on the screen of the printer initializing the EEPROM. This loads the default firmware values and overwrites anything that may be in, in memory. Okay. So after disconnecting the USB cable when we powered it up, you now have information on the screen again like you're used to. There was no boot screen and I find that it boots a little bit quicker this way. And we can see at the bottom, Ender 3 Ready, which is the name that we gave it, Ender 3. So press in the thumb wheel and go to, let me make sure I get this right, prepare. So under, from the main menu, under control, go to initialize EEPROM. Once you hear that beep, you know you're set. And if you look at control, motion, and then let's say look at the jerk, you'll see the jerk set to 10 as I suspected. Velocity is set to some same values. Steps per millimeter, 8080, 495, those are the factory defaults. So then you would want to go through your extruder calibration routine or uh, program in the values if you've already done that in the past. So now we'll do a quick test print and just make sure that everything is functioning as expected. So there you have it. We did a simple test print, just an XYZ cube on the Ender 3, testing out the new firmware, which is based, as I said before, on Marlin 1.1.8. Hopefully you found that useful. Remember, like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified when we upload more videos. Thanks for watching.